right now 10 baby names I love but won't be using and uh, it seemed like good timing because we just had this adorable little baby she's only a couple months old her name is Maisie Maisie say hi oh hi you got a smile you got a smile <laughs> look terrified and uh, as you can see from the pictures I have up here, um, her name was inspired by Maisie Williams of uh, Game of Thrones. And it was a name that both me and my girlfriend really loved. Um, of course, ours is spelled M-A-I-Z-I-E, as opposed to her name, which is spelled with an S instead of a Z. But it's just a beautiful name, but it's always it's got kind of a nice, like relaxed vibe to it like it's beautiful and also kind of relaxed like like she's gonna grow up and she's not gonna be too stressed about anything right Maisie and you're also gonna be a badass huh you're gonna be a badass yeah all right do you want this bottle while I make the rest of this video does this bottle look yummy to you let's get some bottle eyes oh you see that you see that bottle how does that look? How's the bottle look? Whoa. <laughs> She's like, I just have the world as exciting eyes right now. Okay. We're going to go take a little nap and let you have your bottle. I'm going to make this video, okay? All right. Bye-bye. All right. So kicking this off, 10 baby names I love but will not be using... I really love the name Jamie. Uh, my father's name is Jamie, so it'd be a nice ode to him, as well as my favorite character in Game of Thrones, especially the books, is Jamie Lannister. I just it's one of those nice names that fits both men and women. I mean, my name is Morgan. I had some rough patches, but I grew to love it. And the reason I probably won't be using this name is because I can't produce a male. <laughs> I have two daughters, two beautiful daughters, but I seem to be incapable of producing males. So at this point, it seems unlikely I'll get to name my my son Jamie because I just can't make any sons. Well, perhaps if I have a boy, I'll name him Michael Scarn because, I mean, let's be honest, with a name like Michael Scarn, nobody is going to fuck with you. All right, so I love the name Olivia uh, ever since I first discovered the ever-beautiful and amazing Olivia Wilde, especially in Tron for this special nerd edition. Um... It just gives that name a nice badass flair to it. And I think Olivia is, is a cool name. It's like that nice middle ground where it's it's kind of like Maisie, my daughter's name. It's both kind of relaxed and pretty at the same time. And I won't be using it because my girlfriend has a deep-seated hatred and jealousy toward Olivia Wilde. And she will never allow it. So this is a pretty cool one and a weird one. This character's name is Aranea. And she is from a game called Final Fantasy XV, for all you Final Fantasy or video game nerds out there. And I just thought the name sounded really cool at first. Aranea. And she's a really badass character in the game as well, which gives it a little more sentimental value for me as a nerd. But, uh, I mean, if you look up the origins of the name and everything, uh, my girlfriend said it sounds too much like Arachnid. Arachnid. Or like you might get someone saying it really obnoxiously, Aranea! 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 So for all you video game fans out there, Elena Fisher uh, is from the Uncharted series. And she's a great character from that series. But honestly, I just thought Elena was a very pretty name. I always have, even when I was younger. I uh, just really liked it. And I just think it has that sort of soft, uh, beautiful elegance to it. Um, I think my girlfriend would shoot this one down because she'd be worried that everyone would call her Ellie, 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 and short it. And that's always irritating when you, you know, name your daughter something beautiful and people just cut the name down. So it, they'd probably just call her Ellie and it would bum me out. Ah, uh, Hermione Granger. So my girlfriend loves Harry Potter, so this could be a beautiful ode to Harry Potter. Except that she gets really mad when I mention Hermione or Emma Watson wonder why that's the case but it's kind of an original name it's kind of cool I mean is it perhaps made cooler because it's rocked by Emma Watson and Harry Potter yes but Hermione is not bad um, I think this is another one my um, girlfriend might veto or maybe when push comes to shove you know you could see like 
kids messing with her in school. Hermione with the funny looking hiney or I don't know. All right, so I'm a big nerd for the Alien franchise, and I've always loved Ellen Ripley's badass name. She's a badass character with a badass name, Ripley. Ripley, it's kind of unique, too, and it's got a nice hook to it. And Ellen Ripley kind of softens it a little, Ellen, because Ellen's a pretty name, and then Ripley's got some bite to it. But unfortunately, I ended up adopting a cat and naming that cat Ripley, so that's not going to happen. Although when making this video, I noticed a very strange resemblance between the facial structure of one Sigourney Reaver and one Kiara pop singer. Just look at that jaw. Alright, so this one's always meant a lot to me since I was a kid. Uh, this name is Renoa, and I think it's a very beautiful name in the context. If you're a Final Fantasy nerd as well, you might notice this character. As you can tell, a lot of Final Fantasy references here from my video gamers out there. Uh, and I'm sorry the graphic cut off the R and the A. What the fuck's going on there? Anyways, my biggest concern with this name, I think it's got a real shot. I think it's beautiful. Renoa. I just think it sounds good and it's based off a really cool character that means a lot to me but I'm worried that it's you know it's gonna have a little bit too much of a rhino connotation like kids will call her like rhino or I, I know my girlfriend's not a fan of it but it's just got a little bit of uh, reno I don't know I think that it will just confuse people and they won't understand the beautiful brilliance of Renoa Honestly, this one seems like a no-brainer. It's such a beautiful name, Evangeline Lilly. It's just beautiful. It's it's just beautiful. And, I mean, obviously, for all you nerds, she's in Lost and, of course, uh, Lord of the Rings. Uh, very beautiful lady. But this name, you know, the th problem is it's another one that people are going to try and shorten down into Angie or something like that. And you'll take the time to name your daughter something very beautiful, and most people are just going to chop that name up and fucking butcher it. If my first daughter would have been a boy, we were going to name her Declan, because it always sounded really cool. It reminded me of, like, the ocean, like, decks and patios and just staring out into the beautiful watery abyss just reflecting on life and just had a nice powerful punch to it Declan but every time I mention Declan to somebody they just think it sounds like a douchebag hence this photo of a douchebag that I have located for visual aid so no douchebags all right so this is the this is the grand finale this is actually a name that's been my favorite name since I was a kid it's my favorite character in any fiction and most people probably have no idea who it is maybe some of you nerds out there will his name is Cipher. Some people announce it Cipher. However you want to pronounce it, S E I F E R. A video game character I also fell in love with from Final Fantasy VIII. But I just think it sounds cool and it's really unique. Cipher. Now some people think it sounds a little pompous, like Siegfried or something like that, and it doesn't roll off the tongue for everyone. Some people spell Cipher like C Y P H E R. But I've always loved it, and um, it's always stuck around in my head. And honestly. I know I'm supposed to give you a reason why I won't be using this, but, well, here's the reason. The name I talked about earlier, Jamie Lannister, uh, other than that, people maybe have a boy, um, will probably come first. Uh, not, not Jamie Lannister, but uh, Jamie. Jamie is a name of, obviously, my father and a name I've always loved. Um, so I think that more than likely that's the one I would fight harder for just because I know fighting for a name like Seifer is an endless battle but I think it'd be really unique and it's one of those names that I love despite the fact that almost everyone I show hates it but that's it hope you enjoyed the video my own nerdy edition of the 10 baby names I love but will not be using hope you uh, subscribe and check out some of my other weird videos if this is you know if my channel has got a lot of great nerdy stuff on it so if this video is more uh, up your alley uh, try out some of my other stuff and thanks for watching